Hello everyone, and uh, today I'm going to talk about the solar analemma and the factors com contributing to it. Not all the factors, but for uh, to be specific, the axial tilt of the Earth. Because I know it still surprised some people that the axial tilt could be uh, a contribution to the solar analemma that, that we see right here. And <coughs> sorry. So let me remove the eccentricity from the formula. I'll just put uh, zero. So that's how the solar analemma would look like if the Earth didn't have, a, or, or if the orbit of the Earth didn't have any eccentricity. So why is that? How how could the tilt be a factor? So let me go here and show you this image. So we we here have the the Earth, and this is the equator, and the Earth is tilted. And um, I know it sounds a little bit bizarre to some people. How could a ball be tilted? It's just a ball, but it's not the ball exactly that is tilted. It's the 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 spin axis or the rotational axis of the Earth that is tilted. All right, but but tilted to what? We are in space. It is tilted in relation to the ecliptic. The ecliptic is is the orbital plan of the Earth, and I like to to look at the ecliptic here from another perspective it's it's the the sun ray that slice through the earth along the year we know that the earth move around one degree around the sun every every day for simplicity let's say the year is 360 days only so every day the subsolar point slice one degree on the surface of this ball let me go to another diagram here. So, if if the sun is down to the bottom of the screen, uh, this will be the ray coming from from the sun. After 15 days or 15 degrees, this it will be here. After 30 days, it will be here, and so on. So, as as the as the Earth moved to one side the position of the subsolar point changes by one degree every day on the surface of the sphere. But there's another motion which is the, the spin of, of the Earth. So let me put here another color. So now we're looking on top of the, uh, the North Pole. And these could be representing uh, longitude lines. So every day, not every day, Every 23 hours and 56 minutes, the Earth completes one spin. But the day is 24 hours exactly, so there's another 4 minutes to go. So this means that every 24 hours, the Earth completes 361 degrees. So this point here, after 15 days, it will be here in relation to, to space. <coughs> Sorry. So, we have this one here. N now, let's say that there's no axial tilt. After 15 days, the subsolar point is here. After 15 days, this same point becomes here. So, there will be no shift. The subsolar point will be always uh, following the same uh, point. But, there's a tilt. So, let's see if we can put a tilt here. So, let's tilt it this way. Let's type in 23.5. 23.5. And now you can see that when the Earth completes 15 days, this point that was here on the equator, it would be here from the perspective of looking perpendicular on the orbital plan. Because the, the red circle represents the uh, cross-section of the Earth, uh, through the orbital plan and the, the Sun would be here on this point the uh, this uh, longitude point that was here it becomes here and the shift increases and then start to catch up again and then it reverse the earth moves faster than the subsolar point or that point uh, on the earth moves faster than the subsolar point and goes even more faster until here and then the subsolar point start to catch up 
So we see four points here, this one down here, where they, they're exactly uh, together, and here, and here, and there's another one here. And there's also four points of maximum shift, which is here at around the 45 mark, here, and of course another one here, and another one here. And that's what, what we see right here. So uh, let's start from top. Here's one point. There are exactly no shift left or right. And then two, three, four. These are the four points when the sun is exactly back on that same uh, point that we took as a reference. And these are the four points where the, the, the shift is in its maximum. And the shift here, this is not degrees, I just decided to put it in minutes because that's how most the analemma diagrams are shown. So the tilt only produces plus minus uh, 10 minutes of uh, analemma. And uh, if we put the, the, uh, the eccentricity alone, 0 0.0167, and remove the tilt, you see it gives us around uh, almost eight minutes and minus eight minutes and positive eight minutes so you can see that the 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 bigger factor in this uh, solar analemma is the axial tilt it's not the eccentricity so uh, that's it that's what I want to say the eccentricity uh, is not the only factor the major factor is the axial tilt thank you for watching